Hello everyone and welcome back to the Declarative Academy. If you're a newcomer, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of our simple tutorials. Today, we're diving into the Trailhead module called Develop a Rollout Strategy. Specifically, we'll be focusing on how to successfully launch Chatter in your organization. By the end of this session, you'll be able to identify the top priority use cases for Chatter in your org, put together a clear launch plan, and decide whether to roll Chatter out to everyone at once or go for a profile-based deployment. So let's jump right in. Rolling out Chatter isn't just about flipping a switch, it's about building adoption. The good news is that Chatter is so intuitive that you won't need hours of user training, but don't underestimate it either. For many companies, Chatter represents a cultural shift, a whole new way of communicating. That's why you'll want champions at every level to drive the change. Think of it this way. If you build a clear deployment plan, you'll increase adoption and make Chatter part of your company's daily rhythm. The key steps include identifying champions, defining use cases, building a communication plan, setting chat etiquette or rules of engagement, and measuring results. Let's start with champions. These are the people who will model the right behaviors and encourage others to join in. There are three core roles to fill. First, the executive sponsor. This is a senior leader who believes in social collaboration and is willing to set the tone. One post a day from them is enough to show everyone that chatter matters. Next, the evangelists. These are your natural super users, the folks who already love collaboration tools. Recognize them, empower them, and let them answer questions, manage groups, and encourage hesitant users. Finally, you have the community manager. This person is the strategist, curating content, measuring results, and ensuring long-term engagement. Depending on the size of your company, one person might wear multiple hats, but make sure everyone knows who these champions are. You can even create branded profile photos so employees recognize them as the go-to chatter team. Once you have champions in place, it's time to identify use cases. This is where adoption really takes root because people need real reasons to use chatter. The goal is to pick high impact, easy to implement examples. For instance, you might create an all hands group for company wide communication during big events or quarterly calls, or you could launch a number sign corporate goals topic where everyone shares progress on key objectives, or even a number sign giving back tag to encourage stories about community involvement. You might also use chatter for quick polls to collect employee feedback or create a competitive strategy group where sales teams share insights and resources. For day-to-day -day collaboration, an event planning group can keep everything from agendas to vendor coordination in one place. When you involve your teams in brainstorming these use cases, you give them ownership, and that means higher adoption from day one. Of course, none of this will stick without a communication plan. A rollout without communication is a rollout that falls flat. You want to market chatter to your users, build hype, and make launch day feel like an event. That could mean sending teaser emails, making fun promo videos, or even hosting a launch party. If you've got a bit of budget, consider swag or a photo booth day where employees can create fun profile pictures for their chatter profiles. Timing is also key. Don't roll it out during a busy season or holiday crunch. Instead, plan a structured rollout. For example, 12 weeks before launch, you could send an announcement from your executive sponsor at eight weeks, drop the first teaser email. At six weeks, introduce your evangelist and community manager. At four weeks, send another update. At two weeks, remind employees again. One week before launch, have leaders send messages and share demo videos. And finally, on go live day, kick it all off with a CEO post, a celebration, and fun updates like the new profile pictures. This kind of schedule builds anticipation and keeps everyone in the loop. Even though Chatter is intuitive, it's still important to set expectations for how to use it. That's where Chatiquette or your rules of engagement come into play. A simple list of guidelines goes a long way. For example, use mentions thoughtfully so they really mean something. Keep in mind that where you post matters. In private groups, mentions only notify group members, while public groups are open to anyone with access. 
encourage leaders to set the right tone with their own posts and have your community manager step in when guidance is needed. This ensures chatter stays productive and positive. Once chatter is live, you'll want to measure results. The easiest way is through Salesforce's chatter dashboards on AppExchange, which show you how healthy adoption is across the org. Your community manager can also run polls, surveys, or focus groups to gather feedback. Other handy tools include the Chatter Unfollow Rules app, which helps users automatically unfollow closed records and avoid hitting the follow limit. Just remember, only system admins can install apps, so work with your admin if you need these tools. Now let's talk about deployment options. By default, Chatter is already enabled for all new orgs created after June 2010. But you can choose between two rollout approaches, enable it for everyone at once, which is the recommended option, or roll it out gradually using profiles or permission sets. A profile-based rollout is particularly helpful in larger organizations or those with regulatory constraints, where you might want to test with specific groups or roll it out department by department. The setup itself is straightforward. You adjust profile or permission set access, enable chatter in setup, and you're done. All right, time to check your knowledge with the quiz. I'll read each question along with the answer choices, then walk you through the correct answer and why it's the right one. Question one, a chatter launch plan. A, should include advertising and explaining chatter to your users so they get excited about what's coming. B, doesn't require communicating with your users since chatter is intuitive. C, should use a launch date during busy times to ensure quick adoption, or D, isn't needed? The correct answer is A, communication is vital for adoption and a rollout needs strong promotion, so users know what's coming and why it matters. Question two, a profile-based rollout of Chatter, A, allows you to control access to Chatter using profiles or permission sets, B, allows individual users to turn Chatter on or off, C, isn't possible in Salesforce, or D, is available only using permission sets. The correct answer here is A, admins can manage access with either profiles or permission sets, giving you flexibility in how you roll it out. So let's quickly recap what we covered today. Champions drive adoption and set the tone. Use cases give people real reasons to engage. A communication plan builds excitement and ensures a smooth launch. Chattiket keeps collaboration productive and measuring results helps sustain momentum long after go live. Rolling out chatter is about culture just as much as it is about technology. And with the right strategy, you can make it a valuable part of daily work. And that wraps up today's session on developing a rollout strategy for chatter. If you found this walkthrough helpful, don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the Declarative Academy and drop a comment below with your thoughts or questions. I'd love to hear how your rollout goes. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.